Okay, so welcome back. This is video number two, and we're going to just dive in and we're going to talk about why scarcity. So I briefly touched base earlier about that all the strategies, all the methods that we will be talking about in this video course will be based on scarcity. So I want to tell you why we're going to do that. And then we're going to dive into the actual strategies and then I'll show you how to actually implement them. All right, so before we jump in and discuss what features are helpful in boosting your sales, you really need to understand the reasoning behind it. That way your mind understands why, the what's, how to do it properly, and then when we actually implement it, you'll more likely be able to succeed. All right, so that's the whole goal here. Well, features are simply features within jvzoo.com. Not understanding why and, and where to use them uh, will actually hurt you in the long run. So unless you understand how to use them correctly, you're not going to be as effective. And that's my goal. So let's jump in and get down into the basics. So while yes, you could implement things like one-time offers, which one-time offer is a method of scarcity because you only offer them one time, typically after somebody buys your front end offer. While yes, you could use these to implement and increase your sales. And in fact, uh, we've tested it out where the more products that are actually related to your front end offer that can actually boost your sales. This is not what you're going to learn today. What I really want you to do is just implement something simple, 15 minutes as possible. So to see more people succeed, we want to show you something easy. So that really got me thinking, all right, so what is the best way to boost your sales for your existing or future products without having to spend you know, hours upon hours setting up one-time offers? Because yes, setting up one-time offers can almost take hours or even half a day. So I really want to see more and more people succeed so that's what I thought. All right, let's focus on scarcity strategies. So let's call these the 15 minute fast and easy tweaks to save you time. Now, in our experience, the best way isn't through some fancy strategy. It's through really basic fundamental strategies that have worked for us repeatedly over and over again. These are the same strategies that work for big corporations and these are just strategies that you can use that are you know applied to jvzoo so these are strategies that we have tested time and time over and over again and that we have used them over you know our, ourselves as well over and over again so this is not theory here all right so i want you to know that because knowing that it works for us Knowing that it may work for you, we can't guarantee that obviously because there are many different variables, but if it's worked for us over, over and again, then it's duplicatable, meaning that if it works for us, we can apply it to our other businesses and it works. Now to boost sales is in our case, in this case is done through scarcity or in other words, offering a special discount or a special offer for a limited amount of time. But at the same time, you need to be truthful. You need to make sure that when you say that, like, let's say you're, you're going to do a 72 hour discount, make sure that you stay true to your word and that you end it when the 72 hours ends. Now you're going to have a few stragglers that come in and you can maybe extend it at a future or later date. But if you end it, when you tell people that you're going to end it, you know, usually a lot of times it'll end at 12 a.m. midnight, then you could, you, you might have some people come in at a later hour and that's fine, but try to end it around that time that you say you will end it and stay true to your word because the next time you do it, it'll actually be better because people will take you more seriously and they will actually buy immediately. So you might lose sales in the beginning when you do that, but that's fine because what you're doing is you're conditioning people to know that you are actually going to end it when you say you are going to end it. And, and that's the best thing is you are making money 
by being ethical and truthful. You do not have to scam people. You do not have to do any of that. In fact, I don't recommend doing that. So be truthful and be honest. And that's a great way to run your business. And because a lot of people will tell you otherwise, but at the end of the day, it works. All right. So the way this course is formatted is, like I said, we'll discuss the method first, and then I'm going to show you how to implement the method after that. So that way it's not overwhelming. You'll take action and you'll feel great about yourself when you actually check it off the list and say, wow, I actually implemented this in my funnel. That's more than I did, you know, in the past day or week. So let's get to the next video and talk about the first method. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.